There's been a disturbance. Sabotage in the Elixni camp. This wasn't just an attack on their ether stores. Someone wanted to send a message. Our citizens forget who they were before they found the safety of the city's walls. It's easy to mistake change as the front line of a battlefield. But this is a time for level heads and compassion. Saint-14 is already en route to investigate. I trust him, but he is torn between duty and doubt. And Lakshmi? The Vanguard has tolerated her broadcasts, as Zavala doesn't believe it's our place to interfere in civilian politics. I see now that was a mistake. We can't allow anyone to jeopardize our alliance with the House of Light, no matter their motives. Our citizens must see that the Elixni are people, just like them. Get down there. Be the calm the city needs. Hear out grievances, and keep tensions low, while I root out the perpetrators. It's time that Lakshmi and I had a little talk. You see what was done. Our ether tanks smashed. Our supplies stolen. Our home defaced. I cannot find any witnesses. This is not surprising. The locals have been under enormous pressure. You're lucky it was not worse. This destruction helps no one but the Vex. Please, instead of teaching your people to fear us, Tell them the truth. The truth is that your kind has preyed upon us for as long as we can remember. There's nothing I can say that will make them forget. House Light has never raised arms against humanity. Your houses and titles are layers of politics. You're still fallen. You promised us your protection. And you've had it. We allowed your brood to squat and chitter here in our city. But still, the Vex simulation persists. If you're displeased with how you have been treated for your failure, then I suggest you camp elsewhere. Your people destroyed what little we possessed. Now we have nothing. Nowhere to go. Humanity faced a challenge like that once. We banded together and built a city with walls to keep our enemies outside. Where they belong. We hear her broadcasts. But more than that, we feel the energy of her words in the air. Sharp as blades pointed at an enemy. At us. You cannot ask people to live alongside their monsters. Listen to me now, Saint. Let me tell you something about monsters. Once in a city grander even than yours, we prospered. But it did not last. Our great machine abandoned us. And when we pursued it, you sent something back. A creature fueled by hatred. It tore through our great houses like they were nothing. And then it came for the rest of us. Nowhere was safe from its insatiable rage. In its eyes, even the most innocent of Elexni were still fallen. It could die, but it would not stay dead. It would shake off the rot and rise again. And if it caught you in its crushing embrace, 
it impales you on its ragged crest, dragged you screaming into its foul shell. None live to speak of these horrors. It called itself the Saint. My people must now see the creature every day. It sees us. If we wish to survive, we must all learn to live alongside our monsters. Guardian, I regret you had to witness my outburst earlier with the fallen leader. I am not a diplomat, and sometimes I can be terse. I know terrible things have been done in the name of the city. In the name of the future war court. In my name. You understand, though. The city is a living thing. And it is rejecting the fallen, like a fever, burning out an infection. I will speak to the fallen leader. Tell it that the future war cult will personally replenish their supplies when they are ready to move on. I do not wish them to think badly of us. I know they are your associates. What a city we would have if everyone's heart was as big as yours. Have you heard the song of the people echoing through the city? Rise up as one, march toward the sun. Hmm. The words of people reaching for dawn in this endless night. People who have still not given up hope. Neither have I. And if you were wondering, this was not the conflict I have foreseen. No, that will come later, unless I can stop it. I have no words left to speak. Watch me to a saint. I do not know if I reach them. In truth, I do not know if I even reach you. <sighs> ah, the darkness of this night weighs on me more than any other. Know this. I will not stop fighting for those in this city. Even those who did this. The light Pass through us all. We focus it through the prism of our will. Those who attacked us were blinded by fear, poisoned by venomous words. They were focused badly, bent badly. But they are not truly our enemies. We will not seek vengeance. We are not the monsters some believe us to be. Walking the path of the light takes strength. That is what we will remember tonight, as fear and hunger gnaw at us. As our hatchlings sleep in ashes. <laughs> <laughs> 